Salam alhamdulillah. Good evening. Thanks for joining in. So let's start our day without waiting for the others. And uh, I think most of us still. Great. So if you guys don't have any questions, shall we jump up to the questions directly? So it means no questions. Let's begin our day. So we have a project manager and we have a project. Materials are not being delivered on time. And this phase of construction is already behind, which means your earned value is not good. What should the project manager do first to prevent the project from going further off track? You can do many things, but they are asking first to prevent. What you're gonna do, establish new partnerships with other suppliers, perform a risk assessment and define a risk action plan, proceed with the project using management reserves, propose a pause in this phase to save labor cost. What do you think will be the correct answer? Answer on the chat window, please. Why you cannot hear the voice? So you, these guys can hear the voice. That's why they are answering the questions. You guys cannot hear me? I think I am audible. Yes, I can see my mic moving. Check your speakers. Filza and Rakesh, yes, your answer is correct. Rakesh and Filza, you can hear me? Great. So you can do many things, but the first thing is you have to identify it as a risk and propose an action plan. What I told you, you cannot go with the direct action and we never pause the project. We always stop or terminate the project. And we can do this, but after this. So this will be our second step. We are not saying it's wrong. We are saying it will be our second step. But the first step is what? Perform the assessment at how much it will impact. Can you bring it back or not? The impact analysis. Then we can go for the future for this. If we will go with this type of situation after the plan, what is this strategy? Uh, we have right, uh, avoid, mitigate, transfer, accept, escalate. So if you are going to establish a new partnership with other suppliers in anticipation of any delays, then what type of action you are thinking you will do? Is it avoid? Is it mitigate? Or is it transfer? Or is it accept? Or is it escalate? Which type of risk response it is? Filza and Rakesh, yes. That's correct. This is called as mitigate, that you will try to mitigate the situation. Because avoid means you will change the plan. Transfer means you will buy the insurance. Except means you are not doing anything. And escalate means escalate to the appropriate level because you cannot handle this thing. So if we cannot handle this thing, then it could be escalate, but now they have the plan available. So it means we are taking some actions. Great, good work. Let's go next. The PM has noticed that the performance of a new team member has increased dramatically over the past few months. PM has been measuring this performance through the CPI and SPI of work packages. PM has also assigned new unrelated work packages to this team member because he or she is performing better. PM wants to formally record the team member success in project documentation. Where should the project manager mention this? Records the team contribution in RAM, hold a team meeting about contribution, 
attach a note to the project management plan about the team member, send a communication to management recognizing the team member's contribution. You, this is the question. So you should know what you have to answer. The project manager wants to formally record the team member's success in project manager or in project documentations. If you want to recognize someone, uh, um, there's a hint here. When you will send a documentation to management, will it be the part of project documentation? If we will talk to the management, will it be the part of project communication? There are only two answers, yes or no. Conversation with your management as the part of project no that's great so it means d cannot be the answer because we want to make it official uh, those who are answering a ram is defined for the contribution or for the work assignment ram is for the work assignment or for the achievements RAM is for the work assignment, so it means A cannot be the answer. Is it a correct way of doing the thing? Attach a note to the project management plan. It means you are destroying their performance. It cannot be the part of it. Look, formally record. And this is what? Take minutes. Read the question well, so you can answer it well. Question will itself give you the hint that what I need. When we take the minutes of meeting, they will become the part of the project documentations. If you read from here to here, you might feel it that it may not be the correct answer. But I think you guys forgot to read this book. Take minutes. Take minutes means you are making it official. That's why you could not select the answer B. So B is actually the correct answer. Because you will do a meeting and then you will ask them to take the minutes. So these minutes can become the part of project documentations. So B is actually the correct answer. Great. Let's go next. You are a PM. A sponsor is supportive using agile approaches. PM is contemplating how to roll out the agile approach and gain buy-in from both team members and stakeholders. If you want to buy in from the stakeholders, what you will do first, start with a pilot project of appropriate complexity and provide agile training to those who are impacted. Select a current predictive project, define the approach, and then provide agile training to execute the remainder of the project. Determine which agile software tool will be required to support agile delivery within our organization. Determine how to transform the organization using agile techniques, including organizational training and communications. You can do all these things, but what you will do first? What you have to do? You have to gain the buy-in from team members and stakeholders for agile approaches. What you are going to do? What will be the first thing you will do? Then the answer is about the stakeholders.
it's simple question if you try to understand the question but question is saying that how to get the support from the team members and stakeholders for something so what you will do so you can get the support Is there, any, you guys have selected the answer D, but the question says anything about the organization? Question has any connection to the organization? So why you are selecting D then when the question does not have anything related to the organization? Why you have to worry for the project manager to train for it? This is HR task or function manager task. So, Maybe it could be the correct answer, but I think you didn't read the last part, including training and organization communications. They are asking from project team specifically, right? If I clean the work, they're specifically asking project team member and stakeholders. So it means D cannot be the answer. And who are you to determine by yourself what is right for you and what is right for me. And this is totally wrong. We are convincing for them agile approaches. But you are saying, no, let's go for predictive and I'll take you to the journey. So ultimate answer is A, do it as a pilot project. Pilot project means doing the same thing in a smaller capacity. So you can find out what they are going through. And ultimately, based upon that, you can once you will do this, this is number one, because they are asking what is first. You will do this first. Based upon that, okay, after this, A is the correct answer anyway. After first, which option you will select? Two is never the correct answer. Ignore the two. After first, what will be your second action? Exactly. Then this will be our second thing. So if you know the question well, if you answer the question well, understand the question well, you can easily answer it. Else you will be going here and there only. You will be all over. Wow. The PM is struggling to monitor and control the work. How can the project manager use following techniques to identify the various issues impacting the project? Drag and drop type of questions. So what is for A, what is for B, what is for C, what is for D, what is for E? Utilize your knowledge, learn on Thursday so you can answer these questions. Take your time. We have five minutes for that. In exam, you will not have five minutes. You can spend two or three minutes maximum, but you have to cover it from other questions. But right now you can have it five minutes privilege. Not all of you are trying to answer on the chat window. Listening will not bring you any benefits. Better you guys answer on the chat window.
So integrated perspective on the project performances and value analysis. Identifying the main reason of the problem is root cause analysis. Forecast performance based on results is compare planned versus variance. Corrective actions regarding the cost, cost benefit analysis. So B, C, and D were having their appropriate answers. The twist was only in A and E, which are vice versa to them. Got the point? Anyone have any doubts? You can raise your hands as we can go further. Great, no doubts, let's proceed further. During the execution, the PM reviews the progress and find a few tasks that are behind the schedule. After investigating, PM discovers that the few team members were pulled to work on other assignments, which impacted their ability to focus on the project. Which two actions you will take as PM to bring the team back on track? You have to choose two answers. What do you think? Which two answers are correct answers? Yes and yes, good. We are not here to fight. We are here to get the work done. in a respectable way. Rakesh, yes, good. Filza, yes. Tawheed, uh, we will not do this. It will like you put yourself in a dark hole if you will do this. Daily stand-up is 15 minutes. We discussed that it should not go more than 15 minutes. If it will go with more than 15 minutes, you will destroy that tempo and momentum of the team. So daily stand-up meeting is not for this purpose. For discussions, we don't have daily stand-up meeting. Remember that. It's only 15 minutes meeting where we only have three questions. What you did yesterday, what you will do today, and what are your oh. impediments, obstacles, blockers. That's it. Imagine if three person has if one person has to answer three questions, you have six team members. You will barely have enough time to complete it on time in 15 minutes. So it cannot be the answer. And you will never go, right? You will never proceed as per plan. So it can never be the correct answer. And alerting the business stakeholders, if you found anything, you did not find anything. So it cannot be the correct answer. So the correct answer is work with the team. Work with the team. Don't lead, let them work alone. Work with the team to identify options. Uh, or discuss the risk of delay and work priorities with the respective function manager that because of you, what is happening? Because team is not doing by themselves anything. They have been pulled off. They have been pulled up by their functional manager. It means which type of organization is structure they are working. In metrics, which one? Strong metrics or weak metrics or balanced metrics? And weak metrics because functional manager were able to pull the resource. If they would have been working in the strong metrics, project manager will never leave the resources. Great, yes. So A, A, and E were the correct answers. If you know these type of things, it will help you a lot to eliminate the wrong choices. Great. A key stakeholder wants to understand when the risk may potentially become an issue. 
what artifacts you will share with the stakeholder. Risk register, issue log, project management plan, or risk management plan. Easy question. I don't think so you guys should take that much time. When the risk may potentially become an issue. Only Jordan is correct. Where you will find a risk? In issue lock? Or in risk management plan? You will find a risk in? Risk register. Simple thing. There's no rocket science behind it. Risk is find itself in the risk register. Because if it will be converted into issue, then you will find it in the issue log. And risk register is the part of project management plan. And risk management plan is also the part of project management plan. And the purpose of management plan is what? What is the purpose of management plan? What we do in the management plan, what we what we mention in management plans. What is the purpose of management plan? It's been a week only to finish our training. How, right? The purpose of management plan is how to achieve specific functionalities great you are managing a project with a high level of uncertainty a request is made to implement a method to measure the quality of the deliverable using a hybrid approach what techniques can be used to achieve this goal time box iterations and review meetings scrum master reviews and the quality kanban method daily scrum and product owner quality assessments shared work and the customer role method. You have high level of uncertainty. And you want to measure the quality of deliverable. Where we check the deliverable, what we call that thing? where we check the deliverable if you know this you can answer this exactly filza so this is the answer rakesh there is nothing called like this i just told you daily scrum or daily stand up they are the same thing 15 minutes can you check the quality of a product in 15 minutes And when we are saying high level of uncertainty, Scrum Master will check the quality of the product. We check the product in the review meeting. So you have to find an answer with the review meeting. A is the answer. Yes, Elza. We check the deliverable in review meeting. If why Scrum Master will review it. And Kanban method is for the project progress, not for the quality review. Daily Scrum is 15 minutes and product owner will not perform quality assessments during the daily Scrum. Quality, product owner will perform the quality assessment in review meeting. And this is what development work, period work is what? Development work. So in development work, we don't do the direct quality assessments. So A is actually the correct answer. Great, let's go next. During the execution, a conflict occurred between the project manager and a team member. Ongoing conflict is preventing tasks. 
PM contemplates changing their leadership style. What should the PM do? Review the set of responsibilities with the team member, escalate the situation to the sponsor, avoid the team member to prevent further conflicts, review the personal skill document. Here there is a trick, so you have to check. So some of you are asking, the problem is for the, the question says that you have problem with the responsibilities. Is there anything in the question says you have problem in the responsibilities? No, right? So A cannot be the answer. Did you listen from me any document called as personal skill document? Did I ever talk about it? This is gone. Now remaining answers are B and C. So trick as you have to find out. If project manager will avoid the team member, listen, if project manager will avoid the team member, can you get the work done? So why you are avoiding it? Because you are not selecting B, as you heard from me a lot, that we cannot directly escalate to the the sponsor, right? But if you look at it, that you have tried every possible thing. And I told you also that, look, sometimes you will feel it. But you have to be very logical with this type of situation. So look, when we drill it down, we remove the one, we remove the four. And you guys answered yourself, you cannot do the thing C. So remaining answers is only B. So sometimes you have a situation that you have used all your points and now something needs to be done. There could be a better answer than this. I'm not saying this is the correct answer 100% like this. But in the given option, this is the only available option for you now. But to reach to this point that, okay, this is the only one, you have to eliminate all possibilities, which can be, which cannot be. So ultimately, you will be able to reach an answer, which you might feel that it could be inconvenient for you. But in the given situation, this is only correct answer. You cannot choose any other options. You cannot bring your own options. So only in this condition, when you have eliminated every answer based upon their logical thinking, critical thinking, then you can select. Otherwise, you can choose your answers freely. Great. Let's go next. The sponsor for sure will say this is your problem. That's what I'm saying. I'm not convinced with the answer. And this is a PMI question. I cannot say that this is also PMI answer. They have explained in the same way as I did that you have to use escalation sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But this is the only given options. You can escalate to the functional manager. You can escalate to the PM or you can escalate to the required person. But here, the only option is given as a sponsor. And rest of the three answers you have eliminated based upon their 
relevance. That's why. Let's go next. A company has a lot of experience with predictive project. PMO has been trying to implement new tools. PM has been asked to use these tools in their current project. After the success, successful implementation of these tools, PMO asked the PM to determine the benefits these tools have brought to the project. What should the project manager do? Conduct reviews with the stakeholders to discuss potential benefits approach. Determine the data to be monitored during the project as well as the expected performance and targets. Update the communication management plan for the performance review. Prepare and submit a status report to the steering committee to update performance monitoring. I think there's only one answer which is correct. Rest are totally irrelevant. Now let's see, are you able to find out that correct answer or not? As a no. Look, they are saying after the implementation. And determine word is used before the implementation, right? Not after the implementation. And status report is about a status on a scope, a schedule, cost, and quality on the project objectives. Determine word is used at the time of planning level. And where you are at the time of close or at least executing. So which answer is correct? Yes, Rakesh, your answer is correct. Or I can say only your answer is correct. If I browse up here, exactly. So this word because of this word it cannot be the answer because of this word it cannot be the answer anyway it's totally wrong you will never have this power to do that by yourself without the change request this is also gone so remaining answer is a conduct reviews with the stakeholders to find out that what do you think what are the benefits to that so we should have a proper results not only from my side it has to be the uh consensus based result so the remaining answer was only a and last question of the day the pm suggests the pm that there is no reason to perform the pms the team suggests the pm there is no reason to perform quality control since everything is simple pm understands that removing the quality management plan from the project would also help to save the money what should the project manager do? Let's see what you will choose. You guys have learned. Mr. Dila, yes, good. Jordan, no. 
مراکش مصطفی یس یو گائز ہیو لرن ان فائیو ڈیز ٹریننگ دا گولڈ اسٹینڈرڈ آف پروجیکٹ مینجمنٹ دیٹ واٹ ایور ہیپنس یو ہیو ٹو یوز اٹ ہاؤ کین یو ڈو دا پروجیکٹ ود آؤٹ دا پراپر کوالٹی مینجمنٹ پلان this will never be the correct answer you can never escape you can never escape right this is our standard what is standard says we have project management plan and then we have what 10 management plans and then based upon those management plans we have other processes this is the nc approved standards and once you don't follow the standard what happens you get what what you guys keep getting in your project this you go you know the meaning of this when we don't follow the standard we get this what we call this thing non conformity yes non conformance or non conformity so imagine getting the non conformity by yourself even if it is the project uh, if the management exception no you are not doing the project for management you are doing the project for customer so why you need cus management approval so best answer is b follow the standard the standard is created to use but tailor as per the requirement not to skip the things what we learned in the standard you have to tailor it not to escape those steps which are not required if it is based upon consensus sim simple or smaller things so it should be based upon the consensus uh, where they will find out that uh, how much they can accept and how much they can reject it in which document we mentioned this thing what is acceptable what is not acceptable meanings of tailor means fit as per your requirement t a i l o r tailor as per your need but you have to use it you cannot remove it in which document we write down that this is my maximum this is my yes exactly fills a stakeholder appetite and in which document we mention stakeholder appetite in which document we mention appetite tolerance threshold now i gave you the hint you should be able to answer it in a risk management plan not risk register in risk management plan we define the low medium and high that how much i can skip in quality management plan what we give in quality management plan we give what tolerance and tolerance is what we give them plus 5 minus 5 right and this is mean value and to use this plus minus 5 what we use which tool we use that we are following the process how much you can deviate from the process to check the process stability which tool of quality we use i gave you the hints come on upper limit lower limit and mean value which tool it is so it means you guys did not read anything not three point this is called as control chart which have upper limit lower limit and mean value three point is the uncertainty so it means you guys did not study anything on the weekend well nevertheless still have time this week should be your uh, what we call it gorilla time you should be solving questions every day at least one or two hours from the simulator i have fixed the update on the website because you were not able to log in or some of you were not able to log in so now you can so you can start using it